Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is Foreign Minister Hayashi's Friend Diplomacy at Risk. I would like to share the information and insights of Mr. Takashi Arimoto, publisher of the monthly magazine, Saren, along with his article which appeared in the This Week's Direct Comments of the Think Tank Japan Institute for National Fundamentals. Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi can't get over the fact that he is the president of the Japan China Parliamentary Friendship Association, which he resigned when he took office. Despite the fact that the diplomatic boycott of attendance at the opening ceremony of next February's Winter Olympics in Beijing is now in the focus of the international community. Foreign Minister Hayashi himself revealed that he had received an invitation from Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi to visit China. Neither Japan nor China made any announcement after the November 18 teleconference between the two foreign ministers. But Hayashi said in a Fuji TV program on November 21 that he had received an invitation from the Chinese side to visit China. Although he added that no concrete arrangements have been made, on the same day on the BS Asahi program he said, I have received an invitation. So we are going to make arrangements, indicating a positive attitude toward face to face talks between the foreign ministers. This is not the only problem. The two foreign ministers also agreed to take the opportunity of the 50th anniversary of the normalization of diplomatic relations between China and Japan in the coming year to boost economic and people to people exchanges. According to diplomatic sources, Hayashi also proposed an online meeting between the Japanese business community and Chinese Premier Li Kejang. Representatives of the business community Including the Japan China Economic Association, have formed an annual delegation to China and have met with Premier Li. Although there has been a suspension since the spread of the new coronavirus from Wuhan, China, to the rest of the world, we can see that they are eager to resume exchanges between Japan and China as soon as possible. The Japan China Economic Association and the Japan China Parliamentarians for Friendship are among the seven friendship organizations approved by the Chinese authorities. During his visit to China in May 2018, Hayashi met with chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, who is close to President Xi Jinping. The Chinese side touted that there was active support for the One Belt, One Road. Concept of a giant economic zone. In January of this year, Hayashi also participated in a video dialogue with representatives of other friendship organizations and Ambassador Kong Yun Wu, exchanging New Year's greetings. The website of the Chinese embassy in Tokyo reported that the representatives of the friendship groups expressed their wish to positively evaluate China's achievements in fighting the COVID 19 in. Achieving positive economic growth ahead of other countries in the world. And to take the opportunity of the Tokyo Olympics and the Beijing Winter Olympics to strengthen exchanges and cooperation and improve the public opinion base of the two countries. Hayashi does not like to be called a pro China or a flatterer of China and considers himself to be a man who knows China. If that is the case, To what extent has he conveyed Japan's serious concerns about the provocative actions of Chinese public vessels in the waters surrounding the Senkaku Islands and human rights issues? In 2008, despite concerns about China's human rights problems, then Prime Minister Yasuo Fukuda attended the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympics in Beijing. At a press conference in the previous year, September, when he was running for the LDP presidency, Fukuda said, Will you do what your friends don't want you to do? I don't think so. It is the same with the relationship between countries. You don't have to do what your friends don't want you to do. These are hardly the words of a man who is about to become the supreme commander of the nation. But the foreign minister is not in a position to promote friend diplomacy. I hope that Hayashi will not follow in the footsteps of former Prime Minister Fukuda, 
who was a flatterer of China. So far, the information and insights of Mr. Takashi Arimoto, publisher of the monthly magazine, Saren. Along with the article which appeared in the, this week's direct comments, of the think tank Japan Institute for National Fundamentals. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.